This video is about the difference between sewage pump and sub pump. So let's get started. Sump pumps and sewage pumps are two types of pumps utilized in dwellings used as homes and other structures. Both pumps are usually seen in the basement part of the building and act as indoor septic systems. Both have components of a holding tank or large canisters and pumps. In the case of sewage pumps, they have an additional alarm. The alarm is activated when a certain level of accumulated waste is reached. The waste is then ground and transported into the sewer system. A sump pump is a machine designed for getting rid of water from flooding or other excess water in a structure's basement. Sump pumps are essential in many homes or buildings where flooding or water excess is very easy. The flooding or stagnant water can cause damage to the property, materials, and the building's plumbing system. A sump pump is usually powered by electricity. In case of a power shortage, it can be powered by a backup battery. Sump pumps can also be classified as pedestal or submersible types. The pedestal type is mounted and more easily seen and operated, while the submersible kind, as its name implies, is sealed and can be lowered into the sump pit, a hole that is designed to collect water. By contrast, Sewage pumps are designed to remove not just water but also waste and other small materials from a building to the septic tank or the sewage system. Sewage pumps are usually necessary when there is a bathroom present in a building. Like any other machine or appliance in a building, some pumps must be checked and maintained regularly for longer use and operation. If a building or home is located near water or flood risk areas, the machine should be inspected more frequently. Difference between sewage pump and sub pump 1. Sub pump Sewage pumps are also known by other names like sewage ejector or sewage grinder pump. Unlike the sump pump, sewage pumps deal with solid and liquid waste, solid objects, and heavy liquids flushed down from a building or from household appliances being used. Sewage pumps use gravity to force down the materials into the plumbing system. However, a conventional sewage pump can only handle a small amount of solids. Another difference between sump pumps and sewage pumps is that sewage pumps don't normally require any kind of maintenance. However, there are instances when the machine doesn't activate or when large, solid objects block the machine from channeling. In the mentioned scenarios, the aftermath is a delayed transport of waste and possible flooding. 1. Sump pumps and sewage pumps function as internal septic systems for homes and other buildings. Both sump pumps and sewage pumps channel excess water from the dwelling to other locations. They are also connected to the drainage system to move the materials from one place to another. 2. Both sump pumps and sewage pumps are located in a building's basement. Additionally, varieties of both machines differ in the amount of horsepower. 3. A sump pump deals only with liquids like water. On the other hand, sewage pumps can deal with liquids and solids in the form of wastes or solid objects that are flushed into the drainage system. 4. Sump pumps are machines that deal with water management, while sewage pumps are machines that manage waste inside a building. 5. A sub pump can be powered by electricity or by backup battery. Sewage pumps are mostly powered or plugged into an electric socket. 6. Sub pumps, depending on the location and weather, should be maintained regularly. On the other hand, sewage pumps don't require routine maintenance but need to be checked for drain blockages, 